It was a big day for the world's largest atom smasher, with visitors packed into the control room. Scientists at the Hadron Collider were going to attempt to achieve conditions near that of the so-called Big Bang, which some theorize started the universe some 14 billion years ago. They were firing proton beams, attempting to get the particles to collide with more force than ever before. Machine coordinator Mike Lamont. Um, we've got both beams up at 3.5 TV, and we've brought them into collision in each of the four experiments. Uh, so the, there's events happening now inside the experiments. And the next stage is what we're doing now is bringing the collimators. These are uh, blocks that come in very close to the beam and act to protect the experiments if anything goes wrong. So having done that, once they're in place, this will take a two or three minutes. We can go into stable beams. And then, the, and, and then the experiments can switch on the detectors fully and start taking data. Scientists erupted with cheers and applause when the first successful collisions were confirmed. Many were grinning from ear to ear. Colleagues were tuning in by remote links as well. In a milestone for the $10 billion machine's ambitious bid to reveal details about theoretical particles, they collided the beams and took measurements at a combined energy level of 7 trillion electron volts. The action was taking place in a massive tunnel that's the coldest place in the universe, held at a couple of degrees above absolute zero. The machine's been dubbed the world's largest scientific experiment. These pictures were taken while it was being installed. The atmosphere had been tense at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, considering the first attempt at launch in 2008 resulted in extensive damage to the machine and its magnets. There had also been a problem on Tuesday's initial try, but things were back on track after new beams were injected into the tunnel. Spokesman Guido Tonelli. We're just at the beginning, clearly we have to do a lot of work. We have to understand our detector, to understand physics in this new region of energy. But uh, if we are lucky, in, within a few months, we'll be able to really start a major adventure in modern physics. When California scientists commented the images of the first crashed proton beams were beautiful. As Bivek Sharma put it, finally the baby's delivered, now it has to grow. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.